Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another video by McDonald Bullion. For this video, I wanted to talk about the two years I've been stacking silver. I wanted to go over what I've learned so those people that's coming in new into stacking and collecting can perhaps learn from maybe some of my mistakes, but also I would say um, perhaps build on the knowledge they already have as well. So I'm not really going to plan today's video I'm just kind of just hitting the record button and just talking so I'm going to try and not ramble and go off on a tangent but uh, so a little brief history about um, my channel and me when it comes to silver stacking is I started collecting silver two years ago I was watching videos and looking up um, investing and one of the Things I came across after stocks and reading some books and things on investments was uh, gold and silver bullion. So I looked into channels on YouTube, lots of different channels, backyard bullion, amongst other small channels when it comes to silver stacking. And I kind of would say got hooked on it. So I bought my first piece, which was a uh, silver maple. Actually, funnily enough, it was a 2012 silver maple. And as soon as I had that, I wanted to get another. And before I knew it, I accumulated not a large quantity of silver, but lots of different one ounce pieces. I didn't really know why exactly I wanted those pieces. At first, it was more of an investment hedge against inflation, especially with silver, but also with gold as a storage of wealth. So I branched into lots of different one ounce coins. I kind of purchased some of the things that interested me. I tried to get uh, lots of different coins from lots of different countries. I suppose I kind of went off track. Last year I created a video of one year of stacking and what I'd learned and what I was going to plan on do with the uh, channel. And one of the things I wanted to do was to collect much more Britannias, which I've not done because I've noticed two years with stacking, my strategy has changed so many times. And I think you kind of get lost, especially if you're accumulating silver, you lose your way with it sometimes. It depends on how and why, but I noticed for me, I kind of reflect on the two years I've been stacking silver and buying gold and what am I actually doing it for so I've stopped buying silver for now especially silver bullion personally when I look at silver in the UK it's just it's not a great buy it's an okay buy because you're saving money especially if you're bad with money it can be a really good sort of savings account for you if otherwise you would perhaps spend it on rubbish, it can be a good savings account if held for a longer duration than perhaps a few months or a year. Selling silver in the short term, you will lose money. There's no doubt about that, especially if you purchase from shops whose premiums are going to be large with the VAT applied, they really don't receive much, if anything, from the shops when it comes to selling silver. In the US, it may be different. I know that it's a lot cheaper to purchase silver in the US because there's going to be different tax laws and things that are, are applied over there. But um, just to bring it back, the silver I've been buying, I've stopped buying silver bullion for now and that's purely because over the last two years I've been purchasing I've kind of got fond with collecting collecting coins and collecting numismatic coins especially Morgan dollars I set a goal last year if I remember rightly that I was going to collect much more Morgan dollars and I've kind of held off that for now I've kind of held off with buying silver and gold at the moment altogether and reflecting on why exactly I'm purchasing it I see um, lots of people buy loads and loads of different pieces I think it's that and I'm guilty of it as well as well 
we buy what we like, but sometimes we can get too ahead of ourselves perhaps and we can accumulate a huge amount of silver where perhaps storage might be a problem. I've seen some videos of people that have accumulated a large quantity of silver that they have bought in a very short space of time and they really don't know what to do with it. And it really comes back to why you're purchasing silver in the first place. Is it a savings account? Is it something that's like a hobby? Is it going to be hedging against inflation? Is it a combination of lots of different things? Well, upon reflecting of me, I've noticed that I'm not so much doing it for the investment. I'm doing it for the collectability of numismatic pieces, especially after the two years I've been doing it. Nevertheless, I do still like silver bullion coins and I might might even come back to it purchasing silver bullion but in terms of purchasing silver the interest and the fun i find with purchasing one silver bullion coin you're constantly looking to buy the next and i think if you can't be in that position to keep buying silver it will just drain perhaps funds from elsewhere and you might risk having to sell some silver especially losing money to cover those costs so it's really really important I feel and I'm, you can do whatever you want because it's your money but I know I'm going to scale back the silver bullion side I'm going to focus more on the numismatics I'm actually getting into I've always been interested in Morgan dollars I buy lots of Morgan dollars I might even do some videos sort of covering more on Morgan dollars, perhaps. They are quite a collected coin here in the UK. They are still popular, but they're perhaps not as popular as they it would be in the US, I don't know. But I'm also buying different date run coins, especially with albums like the three pence coins here. As well, they're sterling silver, they're really just a few pounds, and they're silver coins. I quite like buying them, and I quite like buying Morgan dollars as well. I will always recommend purchasing gold just because the premiums are so much lower than it is to silver. I I mean, purchasing silver bullion is quite expensive. A lot of people would say that it's madness to purchase a silver coin from a dealer or something for £30 when realistically the value of it's £18 and if you was to sell it in the short term you'd only recoup that spot price so you could potentially be losing £12. Now if you think that you purchased a whole case or loads and loads of silver then you could perhaps be losing a lot of money but it's a double-edged sword. It, there are people that will hold silver for a long time and there are people that would uh, sell it in the short term which might mean that they lose some money, but the money's your own. In my experience, I have not got a huge amount of bullion. I do have quite a few coins collecting in my, I would say, I suppose, a silver stack or silver collection, the Morgan dollars and um, sterling silver coins, the British sterling silver coins that I've got. I've got more of that than I do bullion now. But, I just wanted to update you guys just because I've been away a little bit and I wanted to reflect on the two years because perhaps this year when it comes to what I'm going to do with the channel I'm going to be releasing uh, more videos and everything and I'm still going to be covering bullion because I, I do like bullion, I do like gold and silver but silver I'm not going to buy in bullion form at the moment but things might change, you never know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments anyway. I'm not going to edit the video or anything. I think I'm just going to release it and put it up to you guys and share your experience and things. Say hi in the comments if you want and stick around. I'll um, be releasing videos on Morgan Dollars and my other date run coins as well if that interests you. But thank you very much for listening to the end and I will see you guys in the next one.